Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and today I've got a review of Yellow by Aaron Beauregard. So Yellow is about this fellow by the name of Oliver Fitch and he's got this convenience store that he works at. Uh, he's married, got a wife named Lydia. So the thing about it is that working at this convenience store and I don't remember if they actually said the name of the city or the state or whatever but I'm going to I'm going to assume that they're talking about New York maybe somewhere in the Bronx or Manhattan I'm not really sure where but anyway every day Oliver has to put up with these thugs coming into a store taking whatever they want uh, threatening his life just making it an absolute living hell and then on top of that, he's got his wife who's basically telling him that he has no balls, no backbone. Uh, they'll threaten her life. He won't do anything about it, which is how, of course, the title of the book comes through. He is yellow. In other words, he is a coward. All right. So one night, though, him and his wife, Lydia, are asleep in bed and these thugs come in and they sexually assault her. And if that's not bad enough, they do things to, they not only do things to uh, Oliver that you, I can't even begin, I can't even begin to mention here on this channel on BookTube because if I did, uh, the powers that be at YouTube would literally be probably aiming missiles at me you know, to get me to shut the hell up, all right, or to block my channel or whatever, all right, but not only do they do these things to Oliver that I can't mention, but they also make his wife do things to him that, she, that, he, that I cannot even mention, all right, so that sparks something in Oliver when he's laying there in the hospital, his face is all messed up, he's all messed up, Something snaps inside of him and he just goes on a literal, I'm talking about a, a murder spree, a, a, kill, a killing spree of just, uh, you know, you know, the, ex ex uh, the, the expression biblical proportions. Yeah, that is, that is exactly what he does. The things he does to these criminals these thugs and he just and not only criminals and not only criminals and thugs but cop corrupt cops also because there's a couple or more corrupt cops in this book also but all oh, the things he does each one of them gets just increasingly worse and as if you could not tell this is a book of extreme horror all right i mean it pulls absolutely no punches and it will have, you will literally, if you read this book, you will literally be wading through blood, gore, shit, and any other bodily fluid you can freaking think of, okay? That is how extreme this thing is. I see Oliver, now this is just me, but I see Oliver as a, a combination, so to speak, of three characters, and not only, well, one of them is literary, two of them are cinematic characters. One of them I see him as uh, the character of Daniel Bunkowski, I believe that's what his name was, in Rex Miller's Slob. I also see him a little bit as Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver, Martin Scorsese, Scorsese's Taxi Driver. And finally I see him a little bit as David Sumner, the character played by, portrayed by Dustin Hoffman, in Sam Peckinpah's Straw Dogs. All right, he is a, to me, he is a combination of all three of these characters. You know, uh, the best way to sum it up, and, and it's, it's, no, it's no spoiler, he's overweight, he's obese, is I see him as an obese, cowardly man who just finally snapped and was is not going to take it anymore. All right, and... It's, as you can, the way, I, if you can tell, and I don't know if you can see the twinkle in my eye, but I freaking love this book. You know, this is what extreme horror should be about. Not that shit, I'm sorry, that I read by Chandler Morrison, Dead Inside, where it's just two people sitting in the same room talking about, oh, you know, 
Uh, I, I like to have sex with dead women and, oh, and I like to eat dead people or whatever, you know, and just rinse, lather, repeat. No, I felt for Oliver. I wanted him. I championed Oliver, man. I wanted this dude to just do things. I mean, I wanted him to win. All right. You know, and yes, this book is freaking, yeah, it is not for everybody. I mean, there's some parts of it. I started, was reading them sitting there going, whoa, I think I need to stop for a few minutes here. But I don't know why, but I didn't stop. I mean, the first night I was reading this, I got to page 82 of the book. There's about, a, it's 192 pages. I got to page 82 of this book so damn fast. I'm sitting there going, did I, did I read this? Wait a minute. Yeah, I did. All right. And then after that, the next night when I got to read, pick it up again, it's just like zoom. I just flash through this thing. I mean, it's because it's an awesome story. The writing is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to definitely read more stuff by Aaron Beauregard because I want to see what else this dude can come up with. All right. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, I loved it. It's freaking awesome. I give this book five stars. I mean, it's one of these, is I sit there and think, can, do, can I recommend this? If you are a fan of extreme horror, then you need to read this book. It's freaking awesome. All right. So yeah, that is my review for Yellow. Uh, five stars. It's got to post on Monday, I believe. Monday? Wait, I might have something planned for Monday. I'm not sure. Maybe on Tuesday or some. It's going to post. You'll see it. It's going to, it's coming up. It'll be in my feed or whatever you call it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It is still the weekend. It is Saturday afternoon. Uh, I just woke up a little while ago, had a cup of coffee, so figured I'd make a review. Anyway, you guys stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.